Damn, you are fine. May God keep sending you treasure men until you pick me a man. Oh yes, you're really saying that like you're already not the turd in the punch bowl. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on the notifications notifications. Okie dokie, let's go. Hi. I don't think girls smaller than double D. Why won't women date me? They must hate me because I'm short and have a small D. Shallow bees. Imagine how stupid you sound when you say the only reason you're not dating somebody is because this part of them isn't big enough. Women are not attracted to artists. I'm an artist. Women have never wanted me. 57 years old without a women and children. Women are attracted to Weak, worldly, rich, shallow men who have nothing interesting about them. Gray, dull mouthpieces full of themselves and their dull interests. You've been alive for 57 years and not once heard the phrase, paint me like your French girls? A woman's idea of let's just be friends is, hey, listen to all my problems and keep me company while I have S with someone else. I know, right? My male friends are the same too. They are never down for effing. Always just want to play Xbox and watch films that then go back to their misses. Absolute pricks. Yeah, don't you know, man, they're not the real homies unless... I love how they small king and everything, but most of them wouldn't date some small skinny dude. Dude, please, you know nothing about these girls, and I suspect nothing about women in general. Height doesn't lessen your ability to get in a relationship. A bad personality does. <laughs> LOL, that's a darn lie. Uh, just go on YouTube and do some research. You'll see tons of videos where women want someone who's taller, makes more money, attending looks, and most just end up settling because they won't find that. But I've even asked some of my female friends, and they've said height and looks matter, and they wouldn't date someone shorter than them or who wasn't attractive, no matter how good their personality was was. Uh, yeah, there are a few exceptions, but majority of women don't. Heck, I've seen women let an attractive guy get away with S, but have an ugly try it, it's creepy. There are a few good women, and I applaud them, and I like them, but a lot of them are already taken or hard to find. But let's not act like a lot of them would date a small skinny dude, or at least not at first. Y'all can say you care about personality over everything, but that just isn't true. If it was, a lot of you wouldn't be dealing with horrible guys, and then say guys ain't s because of the horrible guys you deal with. I feel like we went off way off topic off the episode of What If, so I'm just gonna geek out and shut this guy up in the process. First off, you go out here talking and like Peggy Carter wasn't already interested in Steve Rogers before he got the super soldier serum. The dude literally jumped on a grenade when everybody else ducked for the hills. And again, that was the super soldier serum. Don't go talking about a movie plot if you haven't even seen the movie. Also, the whole episodes of the What If episodes are supposed to be pretty much the movies, but you change one thing, which means Peggy Carter was still gonna fall for Steve Rogers regardless of the super soldier serum or who got it. All of this just being an entire series that I've been looking forward to the second they announced and put up that uh, first poster that said What If for their Disney Plus series programs, and I was so excited to see that, because episode 1 looked so good. The art style is something I definitely need to get used to, but I, I can understand why they did that, because it saves them a whole lot of money instead of doing a live version of the What If series, which honestly would have looked cool, and it's really cool that the Marvel characters from the whole What If series can totally show up in the future movies, and I think they intend to. Also, maybe next time, don't go to YouTube for your definition of the human race, because you know, those videos don't set the standard for everybody. Just because you see a few comments compilations of people being trashy or people like being shallow or weird standards and stuff, that doesn't set the grounds for everybody you're gonna see. If women don't like nice guys or find them to be boring, does that mean it's over for genuine nice guys? Since women don't like nice guys or find them to be boring or think they are just putting a facade, does that mean it's over for nice guys who are genuinely nice? I'm not 
really the type of guy that likes to treat people like S just to prove a point, unless they mess with me first, but even then, I'm more of the turn the other cheek type of guy, and starting fights or arguments just seems childish to me. On the other hand, I don't want my girlfriend to think I'm only being nice just for the sake of seeking approval. Seriously, I'm just shocked to find out how many women think so lowly of nice guys that they think every kind act we do is just for the sake of seeking approval instead of, you know, actually wanting the best for people. You don't even get rewarded for being kind anyways, so it makes no sense for them to make such assumptions. Look, if you think that you're supposed to get a reward for doing the absolute bare minimum of human being, then I do believe that there is something severely messed up with you. Plus, also, don't even think about calling yourself genuine unless you actually have actions to back it up, because this, this is the whole action speak louder than words thing. Oh, I also moved in my condo, uh, so ready to start being available for you too. Uh, can we do dinner? I didn't do anything weird. I am most normal and down-to-earth guy. If I did anything, then you are way too sensitive in whatever way you are. You will stay single your entire life. And you are average-looking, average body, weird-looking nose, with absolutely no personality, with no ability to do anything fun, go anywhere, and live a life. So you probably did me a great favor here and save myself some time. You look no different than that average Joe, and they are a look more fun and weird. You are the weirdo, not me. Yeah, congrats, dude. You said that you saved a whole bunch of time by not chatting with this person. Meanwhile, you wasted it again going off on that tangent. Ain't it just fantastic how sometimes if, say, you have like a proper sleep schedule, trash just takes itself out? The reason you don't get help is because any good men are just over this s. How am I supposed to help you when I'm constantly made to be the bad guy before I even start the conversation? Before I even say a word, things are slanted against me. I'm not gonna fight an uphill battle for some person that I don't know for what? So you can feel better? I'm sorry, but I have my own s to deal with and your s ain't it. If you ask why we don't step in when there is something going on, to be honest, I stay the F away from people because F everyone. Everyone picks a side, and it's hostile to some other group, so I just stay out of it. Why invite drama into your life when you are already struggling with your own S? It's not my job to protect and comfort you. Call the police and talk to a therapist. I really don't know what to expect from strangers on the internet. I hope you find some guy in your life that is willing to do all that for you. But for a lot of us, there is very little to gain from helping you. You are gonna have to form friendships with people and get to know them before you ask for help and expect anything. Otherwise, you are gonna be disappointed every time. Shush, honey, dear. Here, don't tell anyone. Let's keep it our little secret. Okay, sweetie? I asked you several times to please leave me alone. Please respect my wishes. If you ever cared about me at all, you would do so. Females love to play hard to get. You are being a little teased, but I like that. You know I can take good care of you. Provide it for your everything you need. Emotionally, physically, mentally, sexually, financially. I am a good guy. Aren't you sick of all of these knuckleheads and losers you surround yourself with? You are wasting the best years of your life, and not to mention the best years to breed. Ah, oh boy, if there's one turnoff that is all of the king of turnoffs, it's using the word breed to try to compliment and get somebody with you. He's a human being, not a German shepherd. I think I just learned the best comeback for when you are actively getting friendzoned by someone you've loved for an extended period of time. Only works if you've already established a relationship, though, and if it's in person and not over text.
text or the phone. It doesn't guarantee success or anything, but it makes things very clear. Here's the quote. Do you just want to be friends, or do you just want to avoid commitment while lacking the balls to turn me down properly, keeping me in limbo? Because I'm pretty sure that would make you the worst person ever. However they initially react should help you determine your next move. Here's a few personal suggestions. If they appear to take it to heart and appear to regret their choice immediately, laugh or chuckle and say that you are teasing them in return for their cruel joke, and then ask them to take you out on a proper date instead. If they stutter or hesitate for more than a few seconds, then you hit the nail on the head. They aren't worth being friends with, let alone are they even ready for a relationship? Oh, just let them keep stuttering and walk away with the words, you took too long, goodbye. If attempt to deny it, clearly state that you are not interested in settling for friendship, even if it's a flat lie. And then turn around and walk away. If they try to stop you and then insist on being just friends, pull away and say, don't talk to me and get out. But if they try to stop you and they apologize and change their tune, then say to them that it wasn't funny and tell them they need to make it up to you. If they don't automatically ask you out on a date or they ask you how, tell them to take you on a proper date and that you'll give them just the one chance. Women are not individuals. Women do not have individual personalities or desires. They are the same. They are a monolithic entity. All straight women want a dominant alpha male to breed and control them. It's just nature, because women were programmed to be submissive and only attracted to the top 10% of men. If a polygamy was widely practiced in the West, and then almost every woman who have a relationship, and almost every man in the bottom 90% would be alone, because women are focused on intimacy with the most dominant and a good-looking male they can find, and they will endure any abuse to stay with him. All women who like men think and act like this secretly. They try to pretend that personality matters, but it does not, and they know it. They care about looks and status. If the personality is good, that's just a bonus, but that's not what they truly care about. Yeah, you definitely nailed it on the truth in the head. Oh wait, what subreddit did you post this on? Ah, good old r slash truth off my chest, that's fantastic. Are you sure you didn't mean to post it on unpopular opinion? Because by all that lovely logic that you're spewing out, unfortunately, uh, you're saying that women have a hive mind. Yeah, that's definitely how women work. But with that last brain cell being killed off ever so slowly, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.